Hi, I'm Michael Josh, and you're watching Gadget Match. This isn't your typical Gadget Match video, as you can probably see, but it's something that we feel is very important. Today is Safer Internet Day, and to recognize that, a whole bunch of us YouTubers from across the globe have decided to come together to spread an awareness of this cause and this message. And it's so important to me that I brought in reinforcements. As you can see over here, I sure this girl needs no introduction. Please welcome Isa Arlai style editor at Gadget Man. Hi guys! Well, today we're going to be talking about fake news. Now, I think this topic is going to be very divisive. When you talk about fake news, it's, it's been pretty polarizing, mm -hmm. but I think it's very important. And you know, Isa, fake news isn't really new per se. It isn't. Well, it's far for the course when it comes to social media. I mean, how many times have we personally been guilty of resharing an article, retweeting, retweeting something mm -hmm. that we haven't even read fully? Even when it comes to tech news or the tech world, there are a lot of leaks or rumors that spread that may or may not be accurate. But having said that, if you were to be a really savvy consumer who's meticulous about what you're about to buy online, I think it's important important that we be as meticulous when we consume content on the internet. So, how do you spot fake news online? How do you spot fake news? We asked our favorite YouTubers for help, starting with someone that's pretty special to me. Hey, it's Joshua Vergara. What's going on, everybody? And I've been doing this kind of stuff on YouTube for a number of years now, so I've seen all manner of comments in the comment sections. Now, one does stand out, and it was fairly recent, actually, uh, but unfortunately, I can't really give you too many details about it because it would demonetize this actual video. Let's just put it this way. It was complimentary, but it did have to do with a fictional story regarding a certain part of me I can't say on camera. Now on this day, Safer Internet Day, I wanted to give a couple pieces of advice. Now it's easy to get really caught up in the algorithms of YouTube, Twitter, Facebook, based upon the people that you follow and what that network entails. So at any given moment, you might be getting fed content that basically just reinforces your existing opinion. There are a couple of things that you should do every time you see a headline or even just a tweet. Don't get caught up in just what you see there. Actually read the entire story so that you get the full story on that perspective. But since it is usually only from one perspective, it also doesn't hurt to check what the other opinions are on the other side of the fence. That way you can not only be informed about that particular topic from all different sides, but at the same time, you can be just a more informed citizen yourself. What's up guys, I'm Mr. Use the Boss, and because of how every reporter, journalist, and YouTuber is competing for your limited time, people use clickbait. That is, misleading titles, thumbnails, headlines, in order to grab your attention. And what do you take away from this? The headline doesn't tell the full story. For example, I recently watched a YouTube video, and the title for this video was Do Not Buy This Certain Phone. And it turns out the content of the video was telling me to not buy this certain phone because this video was a giveaway for that phone. But you can see how I might have got the wrong impression if I just read the headline. What is the best way to fight fake news? Know what sources are credible and, and know where those sources came from. I would say take everything with a grain of salt. Um, if I hear something or read something, I never completely believe it until I find out who said it, um, if those sources are credible. And I mean, that's basically it. I mean, know where you get your information, make sure it's a credited source, and then innocent until proven guilty. Hi guys, this is Salodia. So tips against fake news. Clickbait is real. You have to watch something first or like do tons of research because there are a lot of credible websites and there are also articles that kind of twist the story so it's better if you get like different sources so you can cross check. Okay, good luck, have fun. Those were pretty awesome comments. Thanks guys for sending them in. If you have any more comments or suggestions about how you can be safer online, send them in in the comment section below. From all of us here at Gadget Match, happy, happy safer, safer internet, internet day. day. Until the next video, I'm Michael Josh. And I'm Isa. Thanks for dropping by.